But okay. We're going to do the whole thing. So we're going to watch, we're going to quickly watch the Weaver again, the trailer. We're going to go straight into the traits and stuff. So enjoy yourself as we nip in to the bits and bobs. The Weaver is a specially trained Elonian elementalist who wields dual attunements. They cycle the elements from hand to hand, combining them in their central skill. This skill changes depending on their elemental attunement and choice of weapon. Their favored weapon in close combat is the sword. They take on the aspects of the elements with their stance skills, drawing strength and power from them. Ooh, indeed, indeed. Okay, and we have all the traits and bits and pieces uh, via Bogotter as well um, to actually show us all the info we need, which should be quite interesting to see. Uh, why has that suddenly changed? That's weird. It's gone all weird on me. Oh, there we go. That's what it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I think, uh, we are going to have a look at Bogotter's video. Now, it is slightly zoomed in. Uh, reason is, is that I'm, we're going to be zoomed in generally for this. We're going to have a little bit of music as well, just so we can have a little bit of background noise that's not my fan going off right behind me. And if I'm too loud, or it's too loud, let me know. You think Weaver will be something like Dagger Dagger Elementalist? Well, let's have a look and see what the do is. We're, we're relaxing, we're chilling out today. It's gonna to be very chilled, just a chilled discussion. Nothing crazy. So if this video goes on YouTube and everything, don't give me any lip, because we're just having a look. That's all. So Bogart, go and check him out as well. There's a little command for him that I made. This is his footage, I'm just going over it. But this is the Weaver. Obviously Weaver has sword. Uh, as its main hand, as its new additional weapon for the Elite Specialization. Um, it obviously gets a heal and it gets free utilities and a brand new Elite skill as well. But, of course, with Elementalist, just because you have a sword doesn't mean you just have three new skills. You have potentially, what did Snow say, almost 20... Do you have 26 skills or something stupid uh, like that? Because you've got each achievement and then you've got a mixture of achievement skills as well, which is quite crazy. So we're going to go through this, and we're going to you're going to see exactly what I mean because obviously sword is going to have three skills in each achievement. So obviously that's four times three. It's going to be quite crazy. Uh, so that's already twelve skills, and then we've got the third skill is always going to be somewhat different. So I'm not I'm not 100% sure on this to myself because the first time I'm really looking at it. So, yeah, the combos are the interesting thing. And there's no way that Bogotter is going to get, would have got this footage because there is a lot. So, we're going to have, we're going to go through other skills from a source that I have elsewhere, which I hopefully is going to work out. Um, it might not do, but it's just giving you an example of what it is, really, to be honest. Let's have a quick look at um, what Richie got here. He speaks a little bit at the beginning, but. As you can see, this is the kind of combination. So this looks like the water with the fire uh, combination here as well. So what it is, is, is that the attunement that you have just, basically the attunement you're currently in, as you can see, is slightly bigger here. I've got yellow mouse as well, so you can see where I'm pointing. Um, so this is your current attunement that you've switched into. So imagine your elementalist now, this is the attunement you're in now, cool. We're water. Okay, but why is fire slightly smaller than the water, but slightly bigger than air and earth? Because, basically, with Weaver, it weaves the two elements together. So you can see that you've got the fire still on the offhand as well. So you've got the offhand, which is fire. You've got the main hand, which is water, which is the one we're currently in. And the third skill is a mix or a weave between the two. So if I switch from water again, well actually if I went to water again, I'd have five water achievements, is what I'm pretty much getting from this. 
which is pretty cool. I mean, you can stick back into water if you want to, but also you can have this mixed skill here, which is what Richie is showing us. So this is called Twin Strike. You quickly strike enemies in front of you with extreme nature of fire and water. So you get a barrier, which is barrier like starting to bring shields into Guild Wars 2. Um, quite immensely actually i think scourge is the one which has got like the most shields brought in as well which is pretty crazy and the cool new thing um barrier is not really something we've i don't think we've seen barrier before i'm not sure we've seen it too much um but you can see there's a mix there so we've got two conditions so i mean is necessarily that going to mean that the weaver can do condition damage like a lot of condition damage well we'll have to see as we go through because this is the first skill we've seen so what else do you want me to do um <laughs> so grants vigor uh, that is augmented by traits, so it could be a timing thing, but maybe it is a switch. Maybe it's saying the weaves are uh, going to give you vigor. I'm not too sure. Um, or whatever this is called. I don't know if it's called a weave, is it? Um, we've got the burning the shield. You've got the damage there. You've got the barrier, which is cool. Again, it's something to do with the trait augmentation because it's in blue. Number of targets is free, and the range is quite short. Let's keep going and have a look at what else there is as well. I wonder if he's going to show us the... Oh no, he's not. Okay, so in water, this is the main hand sword. The first skill is going to be called, is this Seish? Or Seish? Something like that. Imbue your blade with water, healing yourself for each target you strike. So you can hit three targets and you'll be able to heal yourself, which is not too bad. Clapatus, deliver a second strike that heals yourself for each target it hits. Still healing, so strike your enemies, unleash a wave that heals allies. So on the third hit, uh, it's going to be able to hit heal allies there you go and the healing increases it looks like obviously on the third here as well let's keep going second skill is he going to show uh, there you go so he's done exactly what i said would probably occur because he wants to show you the third water sword skin uh, skill here as well so you've got the three that we saw there hopefully he's going to move on to the second no oh almost <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, there we go, Riptide. So you use the element of water to propel yourself backwards and regenerate, leaving a healing area at your location. So it's a bit like withdraw from the thief, which is cool. Um, but you do heal as well, leaving a healing area at your location with regen, uh, enemies hit targets free, and well, allies is obviously gonna be five. This is like AOE heal, which is nice. And it's a water combo field as well, so that's pretty good. It is an evade as well, so this is actually really strong, the sword. It's the sword too, completely. I mean, it's got an evade, a heal, a water field. That's really good, really good. I wonder if we can cancel that. Um, withdraw as well, possibly can. Let's see what the, he's going back to sword one there. Animations. Sword 2 with the rip side. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's cool. Okay, let's go back to that. Animation. That's the sword 1. And then 2 is kind of like... Okay, so you actually move with the water field as you withdraw backwards. Yeah, 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 okay. Like star 4, but heal. Yep. Yeah. I wonder if you can combine, say, fire and earth, or do the elements have to be next to each other? Oh, you, can, you can combine any that you want, I believe. That's what I'm getting from this. So if he switches into now earth, he'll have earth fire sword skills, and he'll have water offhand skills. And then if he switches into fire, He'll have fire main hand, and then he'll have a earth off hand. It literally goes in that order. So whatever you select next will be main hand, or whatever was main hand literally switches right. So it just shifts to the right, you know. I mean, that's quite a nice ability, like that. Water. See if we get the third one. It doesn't show us, unfortunately, what the skill is. But we'll go, we'll go back to that. I think, is that the same... Was it Twin Strike before? If it's the mix between these, whether or not it's fire and water, whatever that is, is it a mix? We can have a look, actually. Twin Strike, there go. So water and fire, Twin Strike there. It's the same, two burning. Let's see if it is Twin Strike. Oh, there you go, you can see what it is, the actual animation. There you go, so it's called Twin Strike again, there you go. 
Ah, that's the question answered, which I needed to know. There you go. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which order they're in. It will be the same ability if it's water and fire. Whether or not fire is on the main hand or water is in the off hand. Okay. That's cool. That's, that's kind of obvious. That makes some sense to me, actually. Okay, so let's continue. There's the animation for that. Okay. Now we've got Earth. Ooh. Lava skin. So Earth and fire. Dual attack. Cover yourself in an increasing barrier while deal dealing damage to nearby enemies. Damage is 254. Initial barrier is 1k. So you're going to get a shield for 1k. Barrier pulse, 325. Molten armor. Gain barrier over time and pulse damage in the area. So as you pulse, you inflict burning? Must be. You gain vigor as well. Jesus Christ, sword is awesome. Bloody hell. Ha! Huh. Five pulses. Barrier pulse is 3d5. Initial barrier. So you get a barrier of 1,000, then you get barrier per pulse. Five pulses of 325. Does that mean you just get 325 and it refreshes, or does it add 325, add 325, add 325, and on top of the initial barrier? Which I don't know. You have it paused at. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It, yeah, I mean, you weren't, you weren't kidding, that's true. 27 seconds. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, damn it. It was there. It was there. Ah! <laughs> Almost. It's at like 28, right? It's in between 27 and 28. I can't actually get it onto that. That sucks. Oh, so close. Ah, uh, I can't get it. Okay, we'll find it. We'll find it in the um, in the next bit that I have actually. I can't see it on on my videos apparently because it's just been a bit poo. It's literally a split second between those two. Oh well, here we go. That's unfortunate. Okay, so, and we'll have a look at it when I go through the things in bits and pieces. Alright, that's true. I could change the video speed. Uh, 0.2. Okay. Oh no, that's faster. What the hell? Let's do that. 27. Okay. Yeah, but you can't, I can't see that. That's all blurred. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Just about got it. Okay, just about got it. Let's change the speed back. Uh, to normal. Okay, so it is... Sword free in water will strike an enemy and draw water from them, causing them to deliver a healing burst to your allies. Jesus. All right, so regeneration again. Healing is 1.2k, obviously, stats and stuff. But still, that's pretty nice. To strike an enemy and draw water from them, causing them to deliver a healing burst to your allies. Damn. So that helps you really keep momentum up as well as you're moving forward onto one target. Pretty crazy. That's... I mean, there's a lot of healing on the sword. Really is. Wow, okay. Ha. Huh. That would be cool. I'm just trying... I'm just looking at the other weapon sets and I'm thinking, what would that could be good with? Would it be better with, like, focus or... Hmm. Let me have a look. Let me just have a look at something here, which I'm kind of wondering about. What do you guys think of this? I mean, this is pretty cool, right? It's pretty damn awesome. 
Um, yeah, so this is... At the moment, this is offhand dagger. I'm just going to just see what it would be like. I mean, I think offhand focus might be pretty decent. Obviously, because updraft... Um, no, updraft is uh, offhand dagger, sorry. Um... Because of the involvement on Earth and things like that, I think it actually might go really, really well with that. Still, there's that kind of dagger focus. Just change it to sword. Why not? Because dagger isn't like amazing or anything. Now this is like the perfect combination. This is kind of ridiculous. Also, does the skill change with different offhands? E. That's a good point. I don't know if we're going to see that. I'm pretty sure it does. We'll have to see, actually. Does it? Man, there's so much info. Ellie is one of the ones which is... We're going to want the most info, right? Okay, let's let it play. We've already been through this. We've only got 20 seconds. We can wait. Have a look at a couple of the animations in a row. There's the third one. The big heel on targets. And then Twin Strike is that burning and chilled, and that no matter which order the earth, uh, sorry, the fire and water is, it will stay there. Ah, oh, what's that number in the middle? Is that the shield? Is that the barrier? We'll see, won't we? When he uses it. So Lava Skin was the barrier. Pardon me, which was with the burning as well. Okay, let's have a quick look, see if he uses it. Yeah, there you go. It's going up. Ticking up. Bang. It adds it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Weaver is going to be horrible. Weaver is going to be horrible. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just going to write this down so I can get out of my system. <laughs> this is for tomorrow, this is. Weaver. Uh, sword. Flash. Dagger. OP. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's going to be crazy, dude. What was it called again, that Billy? Lava skin. Lava skin. 1k shield. Can reach up to... Okay, 1,000. 2.5k? 3k? 3k. But that starts to go down. And is that... That starts to go down as well. Jesus Christ. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, rip PvP indeed. Okay, so Sword 2 and Earth burrowed into the ground, then erupt with Earth shattering force. Free bleed. So Earth's, Earth attunement's always been synonymous with bleeding. Um, on the third skill on... Uh, Dagger specifically as well, as far as I remember. Uh, cripple and evade again? So, so sword two. So sword two. Water and earth. Is an evade. Plus heal in water. Ha. Huh. It could be. Yeah, maybe shield goes down after combat and during combat. Hmm. Yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to remember. Let's have a look at the animation. I mean, that's cool. Like the evade is him, her. She goes down into the ground, right? Flipping out. I'm just, I'm just thinking about this for PvP, and I'm kind of scared. And I'm just like, oh god, this is gonna be horrible. Yeah, this is like, it's got so many evades. 
the shield as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, you mix it with focus, you've got the... Sh Look at this combination. You mix it with focus and you've just got... Um, if you have dagger, you could switch between water and earth. I wonder how often these are available as well, the cooldown. I need to have a look. But you can go water, you can have earth, so you can mix it into... So hit now, if you think about in PvP where he is, he's used his shield, he's used his evade for second uh, ability on sword. He switches into uh, water and he needs to be invulnerable. He can use a focus six, uh, five to be invulnerable, then he can evade backwards and heal with the water field and heal with the third skill and the third and the third tick on the sword which gives healing on the third hit. That combo is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like that combo or something in that mix depending on the cooldowns of how long it takes you to go between attunements and if they change anything between now and release is kinda crazy. I mean, that is powerful. That is ridiculously powerful. But it's gonna be all, it's all gonna be about combos as well. Three seconds. That's too, it's too low. Three seconds. It's too low. That's too low. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, I haven't gone through Spellbreaker yet. I haven't gone through Spellbreaker yet. So if, if, if this is the thing, then if Ellie is going to be ridiculously strong and, you know, Spellbreaker... Spellbreaker, that's what it's called. Uh, what am I doing that for? Spellbreaker is going to be whatever, you know, it is in, on the tin. Then it's going to be able to break, obviously, the spells that are coming out from Elementalist. What is it, a silence? I don't know. I don't even know anything about it yet because I'm still going over them. I'm trying to be blind. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how well they're going to go versus everything else. Yeah, maybe Kit. Hey, Kit as well. How you doing? Yeah, potentially, but I, I mean, I haven't got to Spellbreaker yet, so that does make me want to go through Spellbreaker next. Do you think that's probably that's probably the logical thing to go to next, actually? Um, so Kit said that uh, Ellie may be, may be pretty broken when it comes out in the right hands, if the right people get it. But yeah, I mean, maybe it's the thing where if Warrior is um, strong at that kind of thing, obviously making you know, interrupts and making sure that Elementalists and people who, you know, are useful at... I just don't know what Spellbreaker is like, so I don't know. I don't know yet, so I don't want to... I don't want to guess or anything too much, but... They, by the sounds of it, it looks like you're going to want a warrior on the opposite team. So maybe warrior is in the comp somewhere. Which means he would be a team fire because Elementalist would be a team fire as well. I know you need a counter though. You have to have a counter for something. Okay, so... Let's see where it went. Sword 1 on Earth. Crystal Slash... Strike your opponent with a serrated blade. So bleeding, 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 cripple on the third ability, which is crystalline sunder. Uh, crystalline strike is attack enemies with a second vicious attack. Uh, tiny bit extra damage. Same bleed stack. Free target. So it's all cleave, obviously. Pardon me. And then the third one inflicts cripple, which is quite nice. Uh, and another bleed stack as well. Actually, a bleed stack of 12 and a half seconds. Um, nice. Okay. So let's have a look. He shows off the ability. There you go. Looks all right. Kind of dripping with stones. But there you go. Okay, so with rock stones. Just little stones. Um, did they let any of the PvP content partners test out up these classes? Anyone know? Uh, PvE is viewed. Nothing against them. But hey, Mo, how you doing? I, I think they just they invited the people who had quite. Um, I think it was very, very quick thing. The people who got, who got invited got invited. I mean, this is why we're going over the footage now. What I think is that uh, I think there's a lot of people moaning about it, but I think if they actually got themselves together and they went over the information that's out there, they could actually get a lot of information 
um, to be honest. Like we're doing right now, Richie let me borrow his video. We've already got a shed load more information than I knew before within the first 10 minutes of doing this. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, I think, you know, in the short time that people, they had to do it, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly, Kit, yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't. I mean, I live in Seattle. Bleh. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I just want to get, I just want to do this. I just want to do this. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a PvP expansion, so I can kind of understand why they wouldn't invite any of us, really, in a way. So, yeah. <laughs> I have nothing against them for that. That's the decision. It's up to them. Um, I just want to do what I can do and hopefully get some information out to people as best I can. Um, <laughs> most impressive thing about the announcement is how, Carl, how calm uh, Carl was in front of the camera. Well, Carl, Carl always done a good job, man. He's got a hard job to do. I mean, if you think about how what they have to do to please so many people, it's crazy. Um... Yeah, I, there is loads of there is some good stuff like the World v World and PvP Legendary Armor and stuff. And, and PvP guys are going to get their hands on this in a couple of weeks anyway, probably with with another test as well. So it's going to be fine. Um, but we're going to carry on. Uh, yeah, thank, and Bob got for letting me use this footage. I asked his permission; he let me as well, so that's cool. So we've got obviously air on the mayhem. So what happened here is, and you can see it. No, you can't see it too well. Um, but the main attunement you're in, which is the larg largest one here, is air. Uh, so your first two skills are air, and then the secondary is earth. So you saw earth move from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, and that's the two skills which are earth there, which are normal. And then the third skill, obviously, is not the typical skill you would have with air, but is the weave, uh, which is the weaver, um, between air and earth. And that is called gale strike, which is a dual attack. Strike your enemies, lifting them and creating cyclones at their locations. Oh god. This just reminds me. As soon as they, that happened, I was like, oh, this is that raid boss. What is it? Is it Mateus? I can't remember. Um, uh, yeah, Carl, Carl's an awesome dude. Really like Carl. He's a good man. Yeah, I really like him. He's like the most... He's just, he's just a dude. It's just a dude. Um, okay, so there's damage. You get a barrier with this as well. You get Vigor. So Vigor looks like it's something that comes with the Weave. So when you use a Weave ability, you actually get Vigor as well. Um, and you float to your target. So one and a quarter second float. Um, is that float on three targets then? It says initial targets, three. So it must be a, uh, a, a float on three targets. Okay, interesting. Cyclone lifetime... Uh, one and a half seconds interval, one and a half seconds cyclone radius and range is 170. Whew, that's good CC. And bleeding as well. Five stacks of bleeding and vulnerability on one ability? What's the cooldown? 20 seconds. Should be more. Whew. Damn. Let me know what you think about this. Let's talk about this. Let's keep on topic. Let's keep on topic. Okay, so let's let's go away from that because that makes me sad. Because it's awesome. Okay, second ability on sword uh, in air is shadow step to your target. This is Polaric Leap. Uh, shadow step to your target and deliver a dazing strike. Gain super speed if you interrupt an enemy. So this makes sense. So water is a uh, withdrawal with heal. Um, sword to air is offensive. So it's a leap. Offensive. Makes sense. It's air. Right? So fire, obviously, will be offensive as well. Uh, super speed. Movement speed is greatly increased. Wow. And you get days. They've got so much utility. Wow. This is immense. <laughs> this is immense. Jesus Christ. Are you going to use these in raids, though? That's the thing. This feels like a real world v world PvP thing, Weaver. Elements is great, however, effective uh, play requires you to swap to the right achievement in the correct order within a short time, like time span to maximize output. Also, memorizing like 26 or so combinations. 
Okay. Let's continue. He can't use that because he's got no target. Oh. He's just going to use the one skill. Is he going to go back over it? Yes, there we go. So charge strike. Strike your foe with shocking force. Uh, Polaric slash deal a second strike gaining swiftness. Uh, that's cool. Deliver the final strike calling lightning strikes onto enemies. Free enemies. It's not bad damage, is it? Even just all right, attacking. Huh. So some A fancy AOE damage. What's up, Jebra? By the way, barrier scales on the target's vitality in your healing power, but it rapidly decreases in a short time. Uh Yeah, hey. Hey, Blue Voltron. How you doing, man? So you're working at Arena now, I am assuming. You think you were here before? Were you here before? Okay. Is there anything you can link me to, to Barrier? Because I want to, like, think about Barrier in the future. You think it will reign supreme in raids? Or for healing? And shielding and stuff. Just a player. He's a nice dude. Yeah, I really like Carl. He's cool. Came to my wedding reception, he did. Um, scales with targets. Scales with vitality. Plus healing power, which I don't think is good. Should that be a thing? Ha! Huh, that's quite crazy. It decrease rapidly decreases in a short time. So you could go really tanky with say Okay, we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait for that. I'll have to wait for that. Yeah, I haven't seen it in combat yet. That's the thing. That's very true. Okay. It's a Polaric Leap, which we've already seen. And then Gale Strike, which we already saw, which is pretty crazy. Okay, so this is Fire and Lightning now. Uh, first, we saw Fire, didn't we? Fire strike, fire swipe. No, we didn't actually. Build elemental flames into your sword and strike your enemies. Damage. Free enemies. Cleave no more. Heat your sword a second time and strike your enemies for increased damage. The damage goes up by about 100. If, depending on what stats you've got, obviously, so percentage-wise. Oh, what, 15%, 20%, something like that. 15%. It's kind of cool. Second one, flame uprising, jump forward. Oh, wait a minute, we missed this, the third thingy. Ah, bugger. Let's go back quickly. Uh, the third one is heat your sword for a final time. Use the full power of your flames to sear enemies and ignite them. Two burning, there you go. Two burning stacks, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Uh, flame Uprising, jump forward. So again, another leap. Um, fire leap. Does that give you anything? So you get fire damage of 385, and then burning condition for five and a half seconds. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Combo field fire as well. And the combo leap. Is, so is the fire field uh, when you finish the leap? Let's see if he uses it. Yeah, there you go. Wow, that is brutal. Whew. Wow, awesome. So you got fire field there. Let's see what the third bill is. Pyro Vortex dual attack. Strike enemies in an arc in front of you, creating burning vortexes on enemies you hit. And it's sort of strike 771 barrier. So you get barrier from most of these abilities and vigor. So it looks like you get barrier and vigor through traits. Okay. Pulse is a free interval one second. I can't see it though. This is not going to be any enemies here. Yeah. Okay. 
Note, note to Richie, go to Columns. <laughs> Might actually be able to see that on Aurora Peachy's uh, footage, actually. Or wooden potatoes as well. Whereas Richie got the tool tips. So they actually got all got, I think, in the combination good stuff. If you put them all together, together they, but they had like zero time, so you know. The animations are cool as well. Okay, let's go to the utilities. So stove resonance, uh, enter an earth, earthen state gaining barrier, of course, periodically over the course of the stance. So this is a stance. So cool down to five seconds. Okay. Hey, Freds, what's going on, dude? Yeah, on Reddit, that's it. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. You get stability as well for four seconds, periodically gain shield. So when you enter this, what happens? Okay, it's not gonna be easy yet, we'll see. And this is a stance. Okay. Temporarily reduce the recharge time of attunements while gaining bonuses for attuning to new elements. Successfully attuning to all elements ends the stance and grants perfect weave. Woven fire. Condition damage. Woven water, 20% boon duration, 20% outgoing he healing effectiveness. So you probably obviously want to be in that the most. Um, and also toughness, that's pretty good. Weave self, gather the elements elements to become the ultimate being. Perfect weave, 10 seconds, 20% boon duration, 20% outgoing healing effectiveness, 20% condition damage, 320% 320 toughness and 50% movement speed. All of these combined if you get the perfect weave. And that's achieved by successfully attuning to all elements, end this dance and grants the perfect weave. Temporarily reduce the recharge time of attunements while gaining bonuses for attuning to new elements. So basically you have to run through all the combinations. Is that how that works? So they start skill has five seconds cooldown, but you get a charge every 50 seconds. At least are all of your woven elements and end your weave self starts, causing gravity to self, itself to, to unravel around you. I really need... You need to swap between all achievements within 20 seconds. Bloody hell. It's within 20 seconds, where do you get that from? I wonder if he's going to use it. See if he does. It's unblockable. There you go, so you got the stance there. You're in it. He's trying to do it. There you go. You can see these coming up as well. And then he's got the perfect one. And then he can use it. Awesome. Okay. And then his stats go up. Sick. Okay. Is that literally it? Like, literally just has to switch between each achievement. Let's have a look at that again. Alright, let's make the video slower as well. Okay. Every tune, every achievement within 20 seconds. So before you do that, you want to make sure, specifically in like PvP or whatever, that you're in going to end up in the achievement you want to be in when it ends. I guess. Just forward it a bit. There you go. Sorry, you guys can't actually see that. I just, I just thought about that. Uh, let's go back into studio mode. Let me just make it smaller so you can see that. Or oh. sorry about that. I'm looking in front of me and then realising that you couldn't see the top bit, the very top bit of that. There you go. Okay, so here we go. He starts here. And he's going to be... So he wants to basically go between all these achievements. And you will see all of these flash up. So you'll, you'll know above the bar anyway. So he's going to choose... I wish I could... 
keep that up as he did it, actually. Um, okay. Oh no, that's the end usage. That's the start. Sorry, he's in Earth, so he's already caught the Earth, uh, fire one. Okay, he's gonna get water there, and that's saying that he's in that stance. So then he's gonna go to, I guess, I assume fire. All right, yeah, he goes to fire. Doesn't need to go to fire, cause he already had that. It doesn't say you the amount of time. Oh, I was not gonna set in options. So he's gone to lightning, and he's got that. And then he goes to Earth. Then he flips, still getting the stability, obviously. And then, when he's got that, he gets the perfect flipping weave. Wow, which gives you everything. What's the cooldown on that? 90 seconds. Look at the animation load, that is sick. What? It looks really cool as well. That's really nice. Okay, so he's going to the next one. Let's go with that. Twist of fate. Break stun, then spin and briefly evade attacks. Another evade. Evades. 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 Shields. Support. It's another support spec. You could probably do damage in this as well. Oh, sorry, blue. Dagger main hand also gets new skills with Weaver. Hey, Raven. How you doing, man? Welcome. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice it's a nice thing. That's for sure. Um, I'm gonna let you post what you want to post, Fortune. Uh, I'll also post it in the chat as well, what you posted. What was it? Ah, cool, okay. Was that two days ago? I think that one is the one which is really bad in terms of you can't read it, right? Yeah, yeah, I've already seen those. I can't read those. I've got better ones. Uh, but thanks, man. The floats. Oh, the floats as well, man. Oh. Okay, let's have a look. So that one, uh, stability again, evade one second, maximum count two, can recharge 40 seconds, break stun, break stun. Good, obviously. Sweet. Is he going to go to the handy? Oh, dear. He's going to use the ability. Maybe it's good to have this. But thanks, dude. I appreciate it. And that evade is nice. Look at the animations. I've not seen any animations like this before. These are new animations, right? Uh, primordial stance. This looks like it's still being addressed because it's got brackets around it. I think I remember that being the case. Channel the prime elements at their core, dealing damage based on your current attunements, fully attuning deals the same damp condition twice. So if you have one of these, um, then you apply that stack that you see here. If you have both of them, so if you have earth, earth, you're gonna attack, you, that's gonna be four stacks of bleeding. Some new wither skills are reused animations, but a lot of nice new ones. I don't know that one because I don't play female characters. So I don't know if that's an, a different animation. I have no idea. Also guys, if you do want to buy the X-Pack, there's a link right there and you will support my channel. There is the official chill over for the first half of the stream. Hey, it's Friday night, I'm having a beer. Okay. So this is quite nice, so you get the bonus of being in both achievements then. That's pretty cool. 
It's a good thing you can't see the sweat coming off my head because it is ridiculously hot in Seattle at the moment. It feels like I'm in California, it's ridiculous. Okay. So that's nice. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. I mean, it's a condition. I don't think this is going to be something they would use in PvP or World v World, I guess, unless you're running like an offensive build. This is for offensive damage and stuff. Yeah, hey, Kruf, how you doing? Go follow Kruf, she's awesome. She has an awesome YouTube channel as well. Go do it, go do it. Kruf Gaming underscore. Okay, let's keep going. Whew! I do need a headband for the sweat. You can just like get this. I've literally got like paper towel ready. Just put it like this. Looks like I've got a bandage on then. <laughs> yeah, it seems quite self oriented. It seems so quite self oriented, yeah, in a way. I've got no aircon, I've got a fan in the background. You can probably sweat and see the sweat going off me. It's fucking crazy, man. Seattle is ridiculous. It's just 31 degrees centigrade every day. Friday night and I'm drinking coffee. Yeah, we've been talking about how tanky this is so far. A, f a bi- <laughs> A bi PRF headband. Yeah, we could do that one, on one day. One day. Just got like the full on. It's it's the weaver. This is how it gets me going. It just gets me going. I'm sweating, you know. It's just, it's just hot. <laughs> it could be alright. I mean this. I mean this is this utility is for offensive builds, right? Also a add damage if they want to in their, con in their support because I don't know I don't think this would be in the support build but it's still good you don't want every single new elite spec to just be like this is a support this is a damage right you want it to have some kind of um, hybrid feel I guess at some point or one skill or two Whew. Jesus Christ okay it's just POF. Okay, so what's the next one? I think we might be missing one utility. Stone Resonance enter an earthen state, gaining barrier. We've already seen this one. That's okay. Five pulses. The effects are cool. I'll show you another one, which has better, which is better quality, which uh, someone just made as well. What's the heal then? I mean, the effect is cool. Look at that. That kind of looks like the um, empowering achievements in uh, the other elite spec. Aquatic stance: striking a foe causes water to erupt from them. Healing your allies. So you have to be offensive to heal well. See, this is good. Because this is... This encourages the elementalists to be up front in their face. So you're like... You're tanky and you're supportive. But you're also... You have to be on the front line. You have to be on the front line with this, right? I mean, this is the feeling I get. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I mean, you have to be, you have to be close to get that. I mean, you have to hit them, so obviously you have to be close. This is quite interesting. I need to know, I need to play it. I need to like, have it in my hand. Yeah, you can. You can use it from range. But yeah, sorry, I was thinking in terms of sword. So yeah, so that means necessarily that maybe that sword wouldn't be the weapon that they would pick. Maybe you're right. Maybe it would be staff or something. Hmm. Interesting, says. Yeah, stability is on everything. It's on so many things. 
Whew. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that he goes through here. We might have to go through the little thing, other thing I've got. Look at the barrier, you can see it. Right? And that heel is fairly standard. Added the little spirally things, which are cool. And it says the stance is there. I, I, it doesn't feel like a stance, though. Oh, you can just activate that again and again. What's the cooldown? We could just count, I guess, from when he used it. 42. Yes. And we've got that in the um, things as well. You sift to one. Could do. More support from staff. The enemy can technically have a longer range heal than the aquatic stance. Yep. That makes sense. 